And I'm sorry to say, you know, that left unchecked, we're very near to the completion of that process. So we in the Workers' Party are very clear that we're fighting against privatization, but also we must start a fight for true renationalization uh, of the healthcare sector in our country, because it is under severe threat. Um, uh, very briefly, if I outline the, the things that have brought us here, they were the sidelining of the clinicians from the, being the main manager of the hospitals and introducing a set of managers who are uh, at one with uh, the corporate elite and the introduction of a revolving door uh, between um, healthcare uh, and the business sector. Uh, they were the introduction of the internal market, which meant that trusts no longer would just simply provide services and plan on a national and regional basis for how much a care would be needed and provided, but would now start buying and selling and contractualizing that care between branches of the organization, particularly between primary and secondary care, uh, between your GP and your hospitals and other services that they uh, refer you to. Um, beyond that, we've seen, of course, the new Labour introduced a private finance initiative, which was uh, a massive marketization, rebuilding of, of, uh, of uh, hospitals and healthcare facilities, which have been starved of resources, was financed by banking consortia uh, and private uh, uh, finance initiatives for private private capital, uh, 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 private banks, essentially, uh, who have lent about 12, 13 uh, billion pounds for rebuilding of hospitals and then will expect to be repaid in the order of 90, 95 billion pounds, at the end of which a uh, huge uh, mortgages um, a period of time over 40 or 60 or years. In fact, the whole of those hospitals won't belong to the NHS, but they'll still belong to the private um, consortia who, who initially bankrolled them.